Today's video is going to be breaking down what I believe to be the best passing play in Madden 18. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to today's video. Today's video is going to give you a tip out of the Kansas City Chiefs offensive playbook in Madden 18. Uh, I've already checked the, the system, this will work in Madden 18. Uh, so I wanted to kind of get this out here for you guys to just give you some tips, uh, something to get you started. So um, I'm going to give you a two-play scheme that, in my opinion, is the best two plays in the game. And we're going to go over them uh, and how to work with them together because I talk about a power and a counter. So we're going to talk real briefly about our power play, and then we'll show you the counter play, which is the most important. So the, the bunch week, what you want to do is you want to come out in this play, bunch trail. That's the play you want to come out in. And um, but the power play that we're going to want to run is PA post and pretty much all you want to do is you want to put Zeke on an out route. You want to put the tight end on. You could do a couple things. You could put him on an out. You can put him on a streak. I like to put him on a fade um, and then I like to take Dez, put him on an in route just because whenever you motion him out in a PA post, they turn it into a stupid slant route, in my opinion, which I don't want because it, it doesn't work well with the Cole Beasley route. So this is basically what you want to do and you'll motion them out and voila. So you're going to snap the ball. Your first read is going to be this running back on the out route. And I'm telling you right now in Madden 18, this route will work tremendously, tremendously. Um, the next read on this real quickly, if we're going through this, then the next thing you're going to want to look to is you're going to want to look to the streak. And if that's not open, then you want to kind of come back down underneath to Des Bryant. Des Bryant's normally going to be the guy that you're going to go to, um, especially against cover two and cover three. Okay, so he's pretty consistent. And you can, if you don't like motion him all the way out, you can actually just let him set up and do that thing. Um, this this route to Terrence Williams is all right um, against cover two, but where it really shines is when they go cover two man coverage. When you face man coverage, this play really does a great job the out route to Zeke will beat man. That route to Terrence Williams will normally beat man as long as you have your best receiver there. We actually have Des Bryant on the wrong side. He should be on that side, and Williams should be where Des is. But that's all right. And then, um, so those two reads, here's Williams' route dominating man to man. And then we'll show you, we'll show you uh, Des Bryant on this little crossing route that he runs. This little in route, when you motion it out, um, when he comes across, he's going to be wide open. So it's kind of like a slant, but I, I like to keep it as an end. One thing you can do, um, but anyways, that's the power play. That's kind of the core. Um, what will happen is if they start blitzing you from cover two, so this is going to be very popular probably, they'll blitz the slot corner. What's going to happen is they normally will use this middle linebacker. So if they jump to the right at the first sign, you can high point pass to Witten, and he's going to be able to make that catch. Okay, so... You know, that's something to look for as well. One other thing I want to touch on is if they go to cover three, um, normally the Cole Beasley's route is, is really the backbreaker. Uh, when you think about it, he's going to get into a really tender spot. There the linebacker went with him for some reason. I don't know why. But um, normally that linebacker is going to hold. Um, we'll show you this against cover two. Maybe it'll work better. But basically, you just do that, and then Cole Beasley's going to circle back around right in that little pocket, and that's where you're going to hit him. So that's against Tampa 2. All right, so now what I want to do uh, is before we get to the bunch trail, I want to invite you guys, if you're new to my YouTube channel, be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel if you want. Um, we're going to give you free access to Madden 18 content and tips. But what I really want you to do is engage with me in the comments. Let me know how you got here and what are some things you would like to know about Madden 18. So if you can just do that, and I'll engage with you down in the discussion. But the bunch trail, now this is really the, the change up. So we were using Z spot. Now we're going to use bunch trail. The only difference from this is you have a couple of different options with, with bunch trail that you can do. But what I like to do is to keep it simple and to keep it consistent, what I like to do is I like to take Jason Witten, I'll put him on an in route. I'll put Ezekiel Elliott on a wheel route. And then I normally will be putting Des Bryant on an out route. So something like this is what the play is going to look like. Now, my first read um, is always going to be Jason Witten on this quick little hitting in route. Now, it's not always going to be open. It actually is very rarely going to be open. But when it is open, you're going to need to hit it because that means that there's going to be some blitzing pressure. If Jason Witten's route's not open, then I'm going to look to the wheel route. This route is, um, as we get destroyed there, this route is good against... Um, like 
deeper coverages so like Tampa 2 when they run cloud flats so if they run a hard flat you don't want to throw this but when they run cloud flats you can fit that that in route in there for some reason I'm struggling a little bit right now but then uh, so once you go through that then they're going to start playing hard flats on you on that side of the field so that's when you're going to look uh, that way and come back to your post route and your post route is going to be your backbreaker as we totally didn't make a good user play it actually works better in Madden 18 than it did in Madden 17, so you're going to have more success with it uh, once you get Madden 18. But as you can see here, it's just a straight, it's just a post route, it's just a cutoff post route. What you can do is um, the beauty is you have a high low read to the left side. So if they don't have a hard flat on the left side, Des Bryant is going to be wide open all day long. One other thing you can do, and this is just to kind of make it consistent with all sorts of other schemes. When you, you can play with this motion to Des. So if you if you want to motion him all the way out to the outside, let him set up, it still works really well. It actually works better if they don't have a hard flat. If they don't have a hard flat, that's a quick release that you can run. The cool part is when we run our, our verticals play, if they're in cover three, if they're basically if they're not in cover two or man coverage, this route is really effective, that route to Des. And I've done that several times. So uh, but anyways, guys, so bunch trail. Let me show you bunch trail against man. I haven't shown you that yet. So bunch trail against man. It's the same reads. This tight end route, this crossing route is going to be wide open. Now, a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll use the middle linebacker. That's what I recommend people to do, and I think that's what most people are going to do. So if that happens, they're probably going to take away Jason Witten. So then you can look to your wheel route. And if you have a good matchup, you know, you might be able to sneak it in. But normally the wheel route, in my opinion, it doesn't work the best against man-to-man. -man. This, um, just the way it's been kind of adjusted, it used to be very good against man. Now it doesn't really work. So then that takes you to your third read, which is this out route to Dez. As you can see there, it beats man-to-man -man coverage. It actually will beat man-to-man -man coverage better in Madden 18 than it does in Madden 17. From there, once you've looked middle, right, left, then you're going to come back to your post route which is going to work, again, a lot better in Madden 18 than it does in Madden 17. It's going to be much sim very, very similar to the Z-Spot route, almost practically the same exact thing. But we'll show you here. We'll start it one more time. You just kind of pass lead it to the inside, and you click on and you try to cut it off. For some reason, Williams can't catch the ball. Um, he's struggling a little bit today. And then Cole Beasley, his route um, is basically just a hard left pass lead. And if you have a good route running guy there, it'll be fine. So that's the PA post or the bunch trail. Let me show you one more thing with this. Let me show you the reads against cover two. So again, you want to get in this habit. You want to look middle, right, left. Um, but the biggest thing you're going to have going for you is this post route. Okay. And what they'll do is they'll start usering. So let me show you an example of something they might do. So they might take, might say, okay, I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to put him here. And they're going to, they're going to try to drop him into the third on him. Or what? this is actually something they probably will do. They'll take the middle linebacker and they'll man him up, and then they're going to use their high tower. So this is certainly something that you will probably see because of the way the, the cross man works in Madden 18. You can only do it with your middle linebacker now. So if they do that, that's going to leave this wide open, this route to, to Jason Winton wide open, okay? Um, and again, there's just too much for, for them in one play, and that's why. And occasionally what you can do here real quick, one thing you can do with this is if you put Dez on an in route like this, and basically run it like this. You can motion does the inside. It's going to make a nice little uh, high-low read between them two, and then you have your post route over the top. So you can mess around with that. I would recommend sticking with the setup that I gave you because it works really well with your number one play, which is PA post. And uh, PA post is where you're going to make your, your money. It's going to where, where you're going to really live. But the bunch trail is the counter this year. It is the play. Uh, and in my opinion, these two co plays in combination – uh, are the best passing offense you can have in Madden 18. So uh, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video, and I want to encourage you to leave in your in the comments below what your thoughts are about Madden 18 so far, what plays are you liking to use from the passing perspective, and also give me any questions you want answered about Madden 18. Thank you so much.